looks like there was a little bit of a delay there on the uh, load screen. But Yeah, I can sometimes hang up a little bit. Um, if it does actually hang up, I'll test four and just relaunch the game. Okay. Iowa Scotsman, good evening. What the fork? Exactly. What the fork? All right. Well, I got a little bit of tunes. We probably will turn those off at some point, but uh, here we are. We're in the game. And I do have mouse control. Okay. So what you're going to start off with, um, just a basic overview. Um, Star Marine and Arena Commander are just kind of practice zones. Star Marine is the first-person shooter portion of the game that kind of lets you roam around a little bit and maybe one-on-one -on -one somebody if somebody actually joins the server. Arena Commander is a great place to practice flight control. It, it, you select a ship and it puts you up against pirates, so okay. you don't have to kind of go and find anything. It just gives you a chance to a test your AI, control. I guess. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. You're just going against AI um, and just test your controls, you know, see how a ship performs, stuff like that. You can also rent sh ships from there as well. Um, I'm gonna but be... it's not really the most ideal place to just kind of yeah. hang out in because not many people do it. Okay. I'm going to be using a mouse for this first go, but that arena commander sounds like a great place to test and tweak my Warthog Hotas throttle. Yeah. Joystick. Exactly. Is. Okay. That is where I would go to do it. Okay. But by default, tonight I'm just going to use mouse and keyboard just to get familiar with the environment. Yeah. And that's absolutely fine. Um, and it'll work just since that's what I use. I'll be able to easily translate what I'm doing. Okay. Very cool. Um, so what you're going to click is universe. And that's going to pop up another menu when you do that. Okay, I will be Mel for this first round. Yeah, so you'll go ahead and just select it. Um, you'll you'll literally click on the character itself, and we'll cycle through. Yep, some of the like. So these are just basically like pre-picking, pre-made faces. You can customize faces though. But um, like you but said, it's with kind the, of weird. yeah, with the reset, it might not be worth it's spending not, much time on it. Yeah, it really isn't because it will. They'll just end up wiping it eventually. <laughs> but it is pretty pretty detailed the uh the reflections i guess this is using pbr maybe right. i'm not 100 sure what it is that they use other, other the only i know what game engine it is i know it's just junkyard which is just some no but the pbr some, is like the uh i think it's called uh physics based rendering it just anyway it just the 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 the, the reflection and the shadows off of his face it's very impressive Okay. RTX enabled, man. <laughs> well, actually, I'm running a GTX card, so... No, I know, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm oh, okay. Sarcastic. Let's see. All right, so once I choose this guy, then I hit accept. You'll hit You'll hit begin blending. Oh, begin blending, it, okay. Well, we'll just actually, do some real yeah, basic to... stuff here. I'll apply some skin, I guess, here, huh? Yeah, you can change, like, your skin tone and stuff like that. So and by doing that, you cycle through the different... Yeah, and that's how you would see your skin tones, pretty much, is just by cycling through it and... If you're like, hey, I like that, you'll hit apply skin, it'll change your skin tone. That first one was pretty dang accurate because I haven't seen the sun in a while. <laughs> I don't know how many it goes through, but you've already cycled through them, yeah. Okay, so right there. All right, that one. Then and then what? You would just hit apply skin, apply but you've skin. already since that's the same face that you're already using. Oh, it's that's not gonna already do anything. The same skin. Okay. Yeah, it's All not right. gonna do that's anything. That's fine. Um, and if you want an example to, of what some of these other functions do, click on any one of these other random ones real quick, like ears, cheeks, okay, nose, so mouth, anything like that. Eyes. Blend eye shape and color. Yep. So oh, go ahead and so cycle to a different face. And then now drag that slider and you're going to start to see your main character's eyes change to his eyes. Oh, okay. It's, it's shape. It, this is yep. the shape of the eyes. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So you're just copying the shape from that face that you're currently looking at. So you can kind of get a little unique by like going through multiple faces and just increasing the slider to adjust it a little bit. Um, and that's how it works with pretty much every other one of these other functions, like crown, jaw, mouth, nose, cheeks. Ears. Ears. All right. Well, once the game is in a stable situation. I will probably spend a little bit of time tweaking this. Hopefully one day that you'll be able to just take a picture of yourself and it'll match it as clo closely <laughs> as knows? possible. That's possible. All right, so but just yeah, I'll for... accept that? Is that? Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, go ahead and just hit accept on that, and then it's going to pop up. I'm going to have you start off. I will have to get to you first, but um, don't go to New Babbage just yet. Okay. Um, go to Area 18 instead. Okay, so I'm going to click on Area 18, and it comes up, and it says... Okay, it gives me a list of the shopping uh, and the different... looks like the different facilities, convention center, security. Okay, Area, mm -hmm. area 18. So you don't worry yourself too much with that um the only thing you really care about is just hitting visit location and it's going to put you in the game that's kind of just saying like what's around you in that area but okay all this all major cities pretty much have the same offerings so they'll all pretty much say the exact same thing okay and then this is is this how you're choosing your server is your region up here at the top yeah or? that's it. It, it i just select best um okay. I, actually i just realized since it says i'm in pu click on my name where it says online on your friends list okay and then see if there's an option to like join my game. I might have to leave the game and invite you to a group. There's yeah, invite. you can't join my server. Okay. Yeah, I see what it's doing there. Because it's full. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do here, um, I'm going to exit to menu. Go ahead and just stay in the menu. Just don't do anything just yet. Okay. This might end up spawning you a new Babbage, which will be a shame, but we'll do it anyways. Okay. Unless maybe, unless you initiate it we'll see what happens so let me close out of this i'm gonna right click um go ahead and right click me now and hit invite to okay all right yep you are the leader so go ahead and just hit visit location visiting area 18 loading oh this is this is a piece of strange this is new <laughs> And hopefully what's going to happen is I should spawn in Area 18 with you. In theory, but this game is so unpredictable. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the reason why like new, I will take you to see New Babbage. The reason why I don't want you spawning there right now is just because the trains are bugged. So when you get down to the trains, sometimes it, there's one that's statically stuck there. And uh, when you get into it, you get trapped. You'll see the train come in and then take off, but you'll still be in the static one. You won't leave with the one that's going. Okay. You just get trapped in there, so you just basically have to leave the server and rejoin until you find a server where the train is above. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it spawned me back in New Babbage. Let's see where it spawned you. It might, uh, I think it's going to put you in Area 18, though, because that's what you selected, but we'll oh, see. I'm in bed. Yeah, you're definitely. So W to get up. W. Oh, ho, ho. This looks pretty good. I can look around with the mouse, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Yep. So your interactions key, and it's probably the most important key, is your F key. If you hold it down, you're going to see a little target reticle oh, like that the comes oven up. Or the drawer. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it'll let you kind of perform different functions. That's how you'll open doors or select different floors on the elevator and stuff like that. Okay. So you just hold it down and then select the floor. And if there's ever a menu, you'll just mouse scroll through it, and it'll go like up and down on the menu. So just I could just left click on that drawer. Yeah, you'll have to walk up to it though. You'll need oh. to be closer to it, and it'll it'll present you with an option if the drawer even does anything. I don't know. I mean, you might just be able to open it, but yeah, you'll walk up and hit open. Looks like, and a, looks like an it oven. Should just pop. Okay, that's good. Yeah, and then close. Okay. Yep. So these and are just kind of little minor functions that just add to detail, but they don't do anything yet. <laughs> um, should do, should I just stay on the basic? Uh, graphic settings there is no changing anything so the like if you set it to low it doesn't do anything so what so, you have what i would change is i would get rid of motion blur but that's personal preference i just can't stand it and then um is chromatic let's see it's called do I hit escape or uh, escape and options yeah okay let's go to uh, options. Let's see chromatic aberration does not do anything except just hinder performance so i turn that off and i also turn film grain off so I would do no motion blur, vertical sync off. Okay, so let me do this one by one. Motion blur is off. Uh, it says, uh, oh yeah, 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 yep, that's and right. And then, uh, and then what was the other one? Oh, chromatic vertical sync off. Vertical sync is uh, off. Okay. Do you want to keep it? Yes. And then, yeah. um, chromatic aberration. Just turn it off. It doesn't do anything, and it just costs you frames. And you'll want to hit, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I turned the chromatic down to zero. Yep. And I guess another setting that oh, I film would... grain. Oh, yes, and I turned that off, too. Turn that off, okay. That one. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. Go ahead. 
No, you're good. It's just another thing I would change. If you go into game settings really quick. Okay, game settings. And then you'll scroll down to, let's see, go down to where it says, uh, it'll say experimental. I forgot what the control is, but it's like, let's see, down, down, down. Subtitles only go up a little bit. Uh, look ahead enable, I, be is, I believe is what it's called. Switch that to legacy. I think it should say. It just says, says yes or no. No, okay. They, maybe they changed the name. Look and see what my settings says. Oh, okay. It just hit no. I guess they changed it. It used to say experimental and legacy. What that changes is um, when you're... It, it adds like a, f a weird head tilt when you're in your ship based on your mouse control. So if you're like pushing your ship to the right with your mouse your head will also turn to the right but it makes tracking targets absurdly difficult okay so i don't like leaving it on for ship control reasons okay. the only reason or time i would turn that on is if i had head tracking and okay. that's it all right and that's really about all i change now if you want to go look at key bindings it will show you a full keyboard oh, and wow. kind of go over um like what the keys do i'm i need to print this out someday and <laughs> so you can have it like because there's a next lot there okay that's good to know uh those changes that we made i don't have to hit save or anything it's just automatic it's already done yeah yep, okay you're good. yeah sure. if it does it'll prompt you when you go to escape so you're sure you want to keep these but otherwise i think you're... all right so hit, go back to the game mm -hmm. okay uh I return to game all right So what you're looking for is you're going to go to the door that is in there. Um, you might have to look around. I think it's two. Yep, right there. Oh, wait. I, I just... There's two... I guess there's two doors. You're a little, probably a little bit on delay. I was just looking around. Yeah, it, it was the red before. door to your to your left. Okay, red door. And then we do that F. Yep. Okay. We'll do it on the panel, that little green panel down okay, there. Okay, we're out. Ooh, wow. Where are we? Are we on a are we in on a planet or are we in space? You no, you're on a planet right now. You're okay. in Area 18. Think of it. I don't know how familiar you are with Star Wars, but it's like Coruscant. It's just a massive planet that's just one big city. Okay. Um. So yeah, go ahead and just keep walking. You're you're good. Nothing's gonna jump out and spook you or anything. So you can just walk around and explore all you want. Okay. Um. And you could go. There's like a big window. So if you want to get like kind of look out and see what the city looks like, you can oh, look wow. to your left out there and kind of see what's okay, going on. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And uh, there is like a night and day cycle. So like right now you're obviously it's 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 approaching night. So it's and that's controlled go... by the server. I'm assuming. Yeah, it's all it's all yeah. Okay. It's all server oh, and it goes way down. This reminds me of uh, that movie with Bruce Willis. Uh, Fifth Element. Yeah. <laughs> I love the Fifth Element. I was actually just watching that last night. It's funny. We got a subscribe, Monkey Power. Thank you, Monkey Power. We have a nickname for subscriptions on my channel called Subcribe. He's it, already 20 Mr. Fly. I accidentally called it a Subcribe one day and it just stuck for years. But uh, <laughs> Monkey Power, thank you for 20 months. I appreciate that. All right, so we're walking around. Oh, wait, I, I just walked back to where I came from, I think. No, yeah, this is... so go back to the window and then you'll okay. see a, another hallway with an elevator. Right here, level two, maybe? Or, yep, or yep, you got it. Yeah, that elevator? That's... And you'll okay. see the two buttons on the right side that you're going to go up to, and you're just going to go ahead and hit, like, call elevator or whatever it is. You'll have to walk closer, so if it's not, yeah, okay. orange means you're close enough. So, yeah, you'll hit F and then just click it, and then give it some time. It's not immediate because the elevator does actually have okay. to come up to the... Oh, there we go. So when you get in, you're going to have a switch uh, on just kind of like a normal elevator. You just have to look. It's going to be on the right side of the door, and you're going to just hit lock. Okay, ground floor? Or ground floor, yeah. <laughs> this is... It's got pretty good sound. Oh, yeah. You should hear what it sounds like when a ship flies over your head when you're on a planet. <laughs> so oh, there's cool. like mist. They're keeping it humidified in here, and that's good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you're good to just kind of take your first steps outside. You'll if you keep walking, you'll eventually head outside. So this and is a, a AI, I'm assuming. 
Yeah, those are AI. Actual players that you'll see because the server latency is set super high. Um, they they kind of they don't walk very smooth. They kind of teleport around. Okay. There's the fines and citations payment system. Yeah, that's if you get um, fined, like if you accidentally ram into somebody or if you've got a bounty on you, you can clear it that way, but it costs a fortune to clear your own. Touch screen for... Shipping. That is for um, for unique sort of... It's not really unique. It's for uh, delivery missions. Um, those aren't usually the ones people do for money, though, but it is kind of a delivery mission. Okay. Is this where I live? Is Adira, Adira Falls Apartments? Is that where we are? And this is like that's a... just where you are. Yeah, oh, okay. is, is all it is. Yeah, but that's anybody oh, that whoa. spawns on Area 18 is in that area. Whoa! Oh, I felt like I just. I kind of want to visit this place. But you can fly around it. <laughs> Someone should make a movie out of this. <laughs> Oh man, you might just be giving them some ideas. Who knows? <laughs> uh. Oh, here are you gonna order pizza? So yeah, this is where the food mechanics come into play. Um, I, not all the stations are open yet, but if you walk up to it and you hold F on some of the food, it will sometimes highlight, which means okay. you can, to eat it. Though you will have to take your helmet off. Obviously, you can't eat when you've got a helmet on. So that's another mechanic that I'll have to show you to to do. Um, I wouldn't worry too much with food right now. It's yeah. not really make or break. Okay. And a guy in the uniform, is that is he real or no? Cause... Nope, he's not. Yeah, the oh. ones walking are not. Yeah, okay. that would be hardcore RP if somebody's walking that slow. Most people just sprint around. Okay, like I am. Okay. I'm kind of letting you do. I kind of want you to take in the world a little bit. I could yeah. give you direction and tell you exactly where to go, but no, I want you to look around and see what it has to offer. It's pretty, pretty cool. Is there any zoom at all? Um, or? Let's see here. Ooh. There is zoom, uh, but it kind of works weird. Hmm. Hey, the bar I could go to. Like, yeah. It. Um, they have an iron see. adzy beer, a schmaltz, a Pike Liberty. That sounds good. Oh, wow, that's actually new. Is it? Oh, they must have put that out. That, that's probably because they are actually planning on adding liquor into the into the game at some point. Really wouldn't surprise me since they've already got liquids. Yeah. And then this chat that I'm seeing on the left, that's that's real chat, right? Yeah, that is real chat, yeah. That's okay. actual people talking. So now, forewarning, I don't know if there's any profanity filter. I can't quite recall. And some people do get frustrated, so that might just pop up on screen. Yeah, that that's, that's fine. Can't control that. Yeah. So for... This is trade development division. Yeah, so what there is um, in the game is is there's certain buildings that offer certain things. Some of them are uh, terminals that will either sell you items and others are ones where you can buy and sell goods like uh, some of the materials that you've either mined or um, uh, what's it called? Uh, hand mining. You can do that as well and sell those there. Other ones are just resources that you might have picked up from another planet because okay. some planets will sell you titanium and will sell better on another section of space. So you'll just pick it up on one planet, fly it somewhere else, and sell it there for more money. Okay. I'm going to lose. Oh, yeah, I'll probably have to have a refresher when we, when we get to that point at some point. Oh, that's mm -hmm. kind of a cool board up there. This, wow. It's very detailed. No. <laughs> yeah. What you're looking at right now is actually when they uh, first implemented ground walking into the game, this little s section that you're in right now, it was completely closed off, but you could walk around it. And that was all that was originally there when they first had walking put into the game in an outside world other than being inside of a hangar. So mm. this is what you would see when you first signed in and they were like, hey, you've got your first section of space that you can walk around. <laughs> this was it. <laughs> oh, okay. So that you're 59 
thousand, fifty nine million kilometers away. Is that what, is that what I'm yeah, looking at? Yeah, I'm on another planet. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm standing there looking down at you as well. So I'm on Microtech right now, which is okay. in another areas. So yeah, that is correct. I'm trying to decide how I'm going to get to you. pretty cool that they've incorporated flying as well as pretty detailed just walking around that's the one thing that we can't do in our flight simulators x-plane and p3d is you know once we land it's like okay you have a little bit of detail at the airport but you can't even really walk down a detailed terminal for the most part mm -hmm. that's the whole point of this game is it's just supposed to be a simulation just done like really detailed yeah. <laughs> a little a little far and you can see that there's a lot of ambition there which is why there's so many people saying the game is over ambitious, which, you know, it is. But thus far, they at least continue to release content, which is what makes me happy. That's where I came from. And then as soon as you want direction, just let me know and I'll tell you where you should start. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, let's see. Uh, you are you are lost. Uh, go up those stairs that you see in front. The ones that the ones I see they were in front to the, of they were oh, to your there. right. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and go up those. And you can hold shift down to sprint and it'll make you go faster. Might not be much faster. Keep but going yeah. up the stairs or? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Keep going up those stairs. Um, let's see. Yep. Go that direction. Yeah, you're heading the right way. Um, the way you were heading and go left. Go left in these doors? Um, oh no, not the right. doors. Yeah, it would be right now. Yeah, sorry, we're dealing with the delay. So yeah, I'll just stand here for a second. Yeah, uh, so 180 and run the other. Way. I'll go this way. Yep, okay. yep, that's right. Go that way. Oh, I, the train just went over top of me. Yeah, that's the train that I need to get you uh, to get on. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're gonna go left from here, I believe. Okay, and then just keep heading the that point. way, not through the arc. Well, actually, you can go to the plaza, yes. That, that is one way to get there. So you can go through the plaza. Is Star Citizen still beta? Uh, I guess it's, it's alpha. alpha. It is alpha. It is not beta. Yeah. Hey, Kiss Rick, how you doing? Okay. Yeah, and just keep following the corridor. Yeah, it, it up basically the stairs. Is, it's pretty linear. Yeah, go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go up the stairs. I guess it's not as linear as I thought, but yeah. Okay. So you're going to go right when you get up the stairs. Okay. And keep heading that direction. You're going to go left when you can. And then you'll go right into zone, or, or uh, not into the zone, but you'll go right to where it shows the uh, that little red terminal, I guess, where there's those two doors that lead in. I can't really see the sign. I can't read it. I think it says. Okay, so pass zone three to the left, right? Yeah, pass zone three. Yeah, just keep heading straight, pretty much. Just not through zone three, a little bit more. Yeah. And then go right into city flight transit sorry okay so when you get into this area you're going to see two directions and i'll just remind you when fleet week happens and they open up the uh the uh convention center that's where the train is on the left side that's blocked off that will open up and that's where you'll board the train to take you to the convention center okay so uh and uh sorry where where is where is that where do i board the train over to uh, the left yeah, no, keep going straight. Sorry, keep going straight down those stairs. Okay. Oh, I see it now. To Convention Center, and it's closed off. But yeah. But that'll be yeah. open up. Yep. Yeah. So if any of you guys watching are interested, they're offering this for free uh, starting on May 22nd. And you can get in the game and try it out for free, and they'll be showing, and you can try even a, a spacecraft and a, uh, a ship. And you can get full access for from the 22nd to June 1st, is it, I think? Yes, yeah. That's the current reported time frame, yeah. So, yeah, if you, I mean, you can try it for free, guys. Uh, all right, so to, we want to go to the spaceport? Yep. Okay. You're just going to keep walking straight. Yep. And to that left is that waiting area. You're eventually going to see a train come. And it also has a countdown timer that says train arrival, which I can see coming right now. Yeah. Fuzzy Bear 11 with the subscribe. Thank you, Fuzzy Bear. How you doing? Year and a half, baby. All right. It's arriving in one second. Doors will open. I just get on that bad boy, huh? Yep. You're going to get on and just wait. 
It'll, and then so this will give you a really cool view of the city as well as you fly around. How come those guys were waiting but didn't get on? <laughs> those are probably NPCs. Okay. When? What's that stand for? Uh, uh, uh. Just AI. Yeah, it's just AI. Actually, <laughs> it's funny the fact that I've been playing games for so long and I never really uh. You know what really it means, but the you, you, yeah. yeah, I never looked up the acronym. Contextually, you got it though. It's the same with Flight Sim. A lot of the acronyms Funny. are abbreviations. I don't non player know. character, of course. Okay. It's kind of a, a duh. This thing, is a but... pretty detailed city. I'm not. Wow. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, some people might criticize them for being too bold on their, the you know how far they want to go. But it you can only get to where. We want to be if you are bold from the beginning. Yeah, that's one thing that I that I kind of uh, have lost respect for for a lot of these major companies. You, you know, you can, yeah, you can continue to pump out Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed and Battlefield and soccer and basketball, football, etc. But there's no ambition there. They're not changing anything. They practically stay the same. Um, and a lot of that is just cost. They're too afraid to try anything new because, you know, they know the formula works. It's proven. Yeah. And they, they get money from it every time. Yeah. This is something that is making a lot of money. There's no denying it. Um, but it isn't perfect, but it is a one-of-a-kind kind of gem. There isn't anything mm. else that's like I was going to say, when I asked you what the competitor was, you're like, there is no competitor. That's that's pretty that's pretty good place to be in. Professor Binkleton with the subscribe. Do I just get off? Yes, you only get off before the train leaves again. Otherwise, it's going to take you back. Uh, so the doors will be opened to your, yep, out there. Thank so you. So start heading that way. Perfect. And uh, you can just keep walking. Professor Binkleton has subscribed for 40 months. 40 months. Okay, I'm off. I'm I'm here. Uh, go up those little bit. Yeah, those tiny stairs there. And okay. you see where it says uh, Riker Memorial Spaceport. You'll just kind of follow that. Okay. Wow, this is cool. Customs area? Yep. You'll just keep following it. So here's, I guess, here's your airport experience, just in a different game. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this, here we go, guys. Our flight sim experience here at the airport. <laughs> so yeah, you'll just keep going straight. You're good to keep walking. And then you will go, yep, left and right. And so a guy that loads his game up for the first time, he might feel a little bit lost. So it's really yeah, nice to have a guide. It's uh, It was a lot easier for me because they didn't have b big cities like this. It was just Port Olisar. Um, mm. So it's a really small station that is super easy to navigate, which is where I originally wanted you to start, but they're not letting me select it as a spawn area. And this okay. is the least buggy planet in the game right now, so that's why I had you pick this. Okay. Those terminals in front of you are actually how you retrieve your ship. So if you want to walk up to those and then hit F on it, and it'll open up your ship's menu. We hope you have safe travels wherever oh, wow. So it looks like you've got a MISC freelancer. I don't know why, but you have one. Um, <laughs> that might just be granted to you temporarily, for all I know. And then you have your Avenger Titan as well. That's the one that you obviously, that came with your pledge. Um, they're pretty, for the most part, identified right there, as you see Courier and, and Freight, but both will have weapons. Uh, that Miss Freelancer actually packs a pretty heavy punch. It's a decent, decent ship. Um, mm. Not the best turning, but it is a good ship. Um, I'll leave it up to you to pick whichever one you want, um, or if you'd rather wait, I will be there. Uh... In a little while, It'll probably be about ten minutes, because I'm still in in quantum. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I don't I'm getting mind. Closer. I don't mind waiting. So I would probably, at, when we get to the point where I want to, kind of, choose the ship and and learn the ship, then I'll probably go with what I was included because you never know when that other one's going to go away. Exactly, that is true. So while we wait, let's go through the Moby Glass. Um, so go ahead and hit okay. F1. This is kind of your do everything sort of oh, thing. Oh wow, a huge bug happened which caused them to give everyone a freelancer for free. <laughs> nice. Lit Ace, how you doing? Welcome aboard. I'm John Fly. I'm I'm like I said, the stream title says it all. First time here as you can probably tell. But thank you for the follow. All right, so Moby Glass. 
Yep, your Moby Glass is kind of your go-to for just about everything. It's got your map built into it. It has your um, ship's inventory, if, if, if we want to call it that, um, where it shows like what shields you have equipped, what weapons, stuff like that. And the same thing as your character. Um, as you start going through the tabs, it does take a little bit to load some of these. So if you click, um, say, the little ship icon, go ahead and click that real quick. Vehicle Loadout Manager. Okay. You'll be able to select your ship in the top right, and it'll do a little drop-down menu that will show multiple ships. And you can go ahead and click yours and just wait a little bit here, and it'll kind of come up with your items, pretty much. Okay. Um, so what you're looking at for your miscellaneous is just the missiles that it currently has. So it will fire those Ignite 2 missiles. Um, they do have specifications, but you will have to go online to find what those specifications are as far as what damage they do. Um, every ship is unique, so some of them have better targeting than, or not targeting, but some of them can fire from better distances than others. Um, the damage will vary on all missile types as well. Um, so there's multiple different types of missiles, and they do come in different sizes, as indicated down below. There's size two, and big ones are like size fives, I believe, is, is what's out. There might be bigger ones than that, but I don't okay. have any of the ships that shoot those big torpedoes. Uh, propulsion systems and weaponry are pretty much as described. You'll see your engine um, under propulsion and thrusters. Your systems will be stuff like shields and coolers, and weapons will just show what weapons are equipped. Quantum drive, systems, cooler, cooler two, power plant, shield generator. Okay. Yep. And basically, what all of this does is it does it means something. The power plant is how much power is being supplied to your ship and how sustained it can be. Um, getting a better power plant obviously means you can probably fire your weapons more. But if you're using laser weapons, that produces more heat. So you would need better coolers to compensate, and better coolers require more power, hence why you get a better power plant. So okay. that's kind of how it works. Um, weaponry, you'll have laser. There's different damage types, but the two most important are laser and ballistics. So basically raw kinetic and just laser damage. Um, but there are like laser repeaters, which is just a quick rapid fire. Then you've just got the slow kind of packs quite a punch lasers. Um, the laser weapons do damage more damage to shields than they will do to the hull of a ship, while ballistics won't do as much damage to shields, but they will shred through armor on ships. So see, these are the these are the, the small details balance. that I'll have to rewatch the VOD to kind of have it sink in because right now it's like it, I'm not going to recall all the small fine details. <laughs> so it's good to have the VOD. I do believe we saw some real people just come up to the terminals because they're that fast motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that was definitely player. He's definitely calling up the ship for sure. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is how you would, if you buy something from like um, a depot and uh, you buy an item for your ship, this is how you would equip it. You'd essentially just unequip it, hit equip on it, and it would apply it to your ship. That's okay. pretty pretty straightforward. And if you click the tab right next to it where the little character is um, down at the bottom of the Moby Glass, that is your character, which works the exact same way. You'll have clothing, undersuit, weapons, armor, utility, and stuff like that. So I, it comes with a, a helmet. That's good. Yeah, so you can breathe. There is a bug, just so you know. You won't want to always take your helmet off because certain areas, even if you're inside of a space station, um, will think it's out in space and your character will start choking because there's no air. So okay. just always leave your helmet on for the most part. <laughs> for now, okay. There's another player. Yeah, Ben. Hey, Ben. Yeah, there's another player in front of me. Yep. There was actually two at one point, but yeah. Yeah, they already took off. The one that's dead in front of you right now is an NPC that's pretty much just always standing there. Okay. All right, so this is where we do weapons, armor, utility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which, when we actually start to utilize them, we'll go into more detail, but you at least can kind of see where it is. And it, as you can tell, it functions the same way as your ship, where you can unequip and equip a different item. Um, there are different, there's medium and heavy armor. I think there's also light armor. Um, they will do things like uh, heavy army obviously will increase the amount of damage you can take before you die, um, but it, at the risk of running slower and increased heart rate, um, which can like either cause you to black out. You used to just die, but I don't think that happens anymore. Uh, at least it hasn't happened to me. 
Okay. Um, but I usually just use medium armor just because it's middle of the ground. Um, the undersuit is really just a style. It just like I buy an executive undersuit because it has gold lining to it, so it matches my outfit better. Okay, so I probably have to build up a little bit of bank before I can really customize. I think right eh, about 10k will will we'll get you there, which is what you already have. So you could actually already go buy like a new suit. <laughs> it's nothing is too expensive right now because the game is still in alpha, so everything is fairly affordable. Should I do that now? Uh, or no, you would have to go. You to have to go to a back. store. You don't do yeah. it in the Moby Glass. You just yeah, this is where right you now. change, yeah, yeah. I guess. Yep, this is where you change after you buy the item, but you'd have to actually go to a store to buy okay. the different stuff. Okay. Um, the tab next to that is your star map, which this one is pretty important. Skyline. Um, you are right now. You don't see anything. Hit your um, right mouse button two times, and it'll zoom. Uh, oh, there we go. So you can right click to move it around to the entire galaxy and oh. you can, and then I can double scroll click wheel. to, yep, yep, you could scroll wheel or you can double click the planet to zoom in on a planet. Um, the main systems right now, Crusader and Gas Giant, that's where all SAR is. Uh, Delmar has Levski, which is kind of like a rundown mining colony. Um, Art Corp is, where, is what's highlighted for you in that bottom right corner. Um, that's the big, you know, city. Um, how do we microtech? How do we zoom back out? Uh, right click, double, double right click again is how you zoom oh, there back we out. Go. Fastest right way. Okay. Thank you for Crusader. Stanton's capital. Her, her, okay. We wish you a I see her L3, L4, L5. Yeah. Oh. So, um, those oh, are basically 3D. like a. Think of them like gas stops, like re refills and stuff like that. Okay, and for you can resources. Buy there as well. Okay. Oh, this is trippy. It takes all of us working together to keep our corp safe and secure. Yeah, right now it won't let you select location just because you're not in a ship, but this at least gives you an idea of this is this is the current. Okay, galaxy. so once this I was in a ship, you... then I can set the route in here. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Okay. And you can see it up top. It's kind of cut off. Oh no, it's only cut off because of my screen, but it'll say set route and all that, which you can't do until you're in your ship. But yeah. Okay. The armor also now determines your survivability in different ranges of temperatures. Yes, so that's okay. Microtech. Yeah, Microtech has introduced cold weather, so when you're on that planet and you go outside, it's it's pretty chilly, and you'll okay. see your temperature drop. So, yeah, having better armor protects you from weather conditions. And where do you, where do you see your temperature? Uh, it will pop up when you're actually on a planet where okay. it's affecting your temperature. Otherwise, you generally just CO2. That's okay. The, the, in the bottom left, or at least that's what I'm seeing right now. But for you, you might see like a hydration or something like that. Okay. It changes depending on what is being affected. Okay. And I'm just about to you. I'm actually flying down to the spaceport right now, so I just have to land. This is cool that I can look at it 3D and say, "Oh, yeah, okay." Wait, are those planets around Hurston or are those moons? Moons, and you can visit every single one of them. It's funny how I'll be able to, you know, at some if this sticks, I'll be able to one day say, you know, one day I was in the eastern quadrant of Magda and I discovered a new beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's no moon, says B2. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, we can, you're going to get here, but then there, okay. I just landed, yeah, so I'm going to be going up the elevator, and I'll pop out one of the elevators and see you in just a second. So, sorry, how did we get into the Moby Glass again? F1. And that's how you get out, I'm assuming? Yep. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll learn more about that in a little bit, I guess. All right, let me go up to Riker Spaceport. Get up there in just a second. I'm I could looking for you right now. Can you see me? Uh, let's look around here. Yeah, you're th you're coming up to me. All right, well, hopefully, I can see you. I've I've had this bug out sometimes where I get to you, but I you're don't. You're 80 see you meters. Like you're yeah. You're are you in the same room? Uh, I'm about to be. I'm heading. To oh yeah, right I now. see. Yeah, yeah. Yay, multiplayer! I'm not alone. 
There you go. <laughs> so whatever, however you customized yourself, is is how you appear to me, right? Yeah, so I, I went and bought this armor for myself. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Yes, nice to meet you. <laughs> so you're, oh, this is where you're going to... Yep, so I'm going to bring out one of my ships. Um, I'm just kind of debating what I, what I, do I, do I want to flex on you or do I want to just kind of start with yeah, something simple? This, I can bring... this is your show. Dude, you know, all right. Let's... Also, if you hit F plus right mouse button, you will go to player interaction will at bottom will show health temperature and other things oh so you can do it when you're not on a planet necessarily yeah so f i'll and... give you a little bit more options so yeah good point so i can do that like right now i just do f and then right click mm -hmm. oh there we go there's my heart rate temperature uh oxygen levels okay little assist from chat there <laughs> i i love the back the what we call backseat gaming it's some yeah. people don't like it but i just i live by it i learned don't mind it at all you know you, you don't i don't i don't always know everything you know like because I, I brought up that menu before but yeah. i forgot about it completely yeah i, um, I so love learning we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to hangar seven as uh, so you see the hangers kind of go ahead and come in here with the, me real quick the one thing as a streamer is that i can't do a lot of fast movement with my mouse because i know as a viewer I will not want to watch that very long. Like, oh yes, you. So I've got to be a little. I got to be a little more. Up. I got a little be a little more fluid with my movement. <laughs> but I'm what's really nice? Fast. What's nice is when I'm following you and you hit the buttons and I can just kind of kick back and have a sip and mm -hmm. eat some Korean food and. This is my big. Oh, <laughs> whoa, this is the first time I've seen a ship. Whoa! Look at that. What's this one called? This is the Carrick. This is one of the newer ships. Um, it's pretty big. It's not quite an 890J big, but it is still pretty dang. You're flexing, aren't you? Yeah, oh, yeah. This is a flex. This That's is for sure a flex. That's so cool. Lit, Lit Ace knew you would pull a Carrick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, if you're if you're trying to get someone to like hang on to the game after their first you know view of it, you kind of want to pull out the Carrick, right? Yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, Sorry, sure. I'm not going in yet. I'm just kind of taking <laughs> yeah, Enjoy it. Yeah, no, yeah, please. Yeah, do whatever you want. Because this is the first time I've ever seen a, a ship in-game.